welcome to Craft Little Things. It's Friday, so it's haul day or review day or how to day. And today I've got a haul to show you. This is what I got from the Stampin' Up clearance rack. Now, the Stampin' Up, I was having a chat with my upline last weekend and um, she suddenly said, oh, the clearance rack's updated um, on Stampin' Up because we've been waiting ages for a, clear, for a clearance rack update. And if you don't know, Stampin' Up have a clearance rack on the um, on the website and most things in there are, are discounted really heavily. They're like up to 60% and demonstrators still get their demonstrator discount on top of that. So even though customers love the um, clearance rack updates, demonstrators love it even more. Um, and we can also get things... Um, it's a nice opportunity for a lot of demonstrators to buy things for gifts and giveaways and things like that. So, um, and not everything on the clearance rack has actually retired. And I'll explain when that Stampin now. When Stampin' Up um, have a DSP stack, they often have a card stock pack to go with it. So they'll have card stocks in matching colours. Usually there's three, sometimes there's only two. Uh, sometimes there's two colours and a neutral. So you'll have things like this, which is a naturally eclectic, which was a DSP. You'll have a naturally eclectic um, cardstock pack to go with it. And that has three colours. Um, it has what I think is Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist and Soft Sky. Now Soft Sky's retired, but Lemon Lime Twist and Berry Burst haven't. Is that Lemon Lime Twist or is it? It might be old olive. I think it's lemon lime twist. I've definitely got lemon lime twist in one of these. Yeah, so these two colours are still current. And I got this for £2, two pounds, two or three pounds, which is an absolute bargain. And then I got, so I got a couple of those. And then there's this one. Well, the Emerald Envy is retired, but it's coming up to Christmas. I've still got the inks. I've still got some embellishments and stuff that match with that. Um, and then you've got the other two colours. So I've got a couple of packs of that and then this one which has the extra thick whisper white the garden green and um cherry cobbler um which was to go with the be merry uh, christmas stack last year so a few of those are fantastic because all three of these are still current then i also got um, I got mine in two parcels, so this is the first parcel, and I'll open the next one in a minute. I just I just bought, went all out for cardstock with my first order, and then I placed another order, and um, I'd had a better look and a think, and I ordered more or less everything. So then I got this um, gorgeous uh, DSP stack, uh, which is the Petal Garden. And I don't think I've had this um, before because I don't recognise any of the designs. So it must have missed me. Like, although I do seem, that seems familiar. However, that pattern there is in, is very similar to one that's in one of the current stacks, the uh, Tropical Escape or whatever it's called. So that was just a few pounds. I think that was three pounds from him. So that was a bargain. Then, most of these things are doubled up, I've got a few of them. So, uh, Regal's enamel shapes, well the Regal's colours are still in. And so those little embellishments were cute and they were only a couple of pounds. Where's over there? Baker's twine, um, this one, I think, is this just black and white or is it? Yeah. This is just a black and white, so that's obviously going to come in handy. This gorgeous um, old olive stitched edged ribbon, I just loved it and I had to have some more of that. Um, I think it was about £3. Really cheap. Um, crushed curry baker's twine, this is the thin baker's twine. I think this was a pound or some, £1.20, something like that. Really, really, really low cost I'm telling you um I've got my shopping list here so there should also be yeah 
there's an old olive um, baker's twine as well so that was again a couple of quid um, metallic foil doilies again really cute really inexpensive um, but will go any time of the year will look great on scrapbooking projects I'll just open those up but great on scrapbooking projects great on cards you know look at those different sizes different designs beautiful um then there's some reinkers oh a lot of reinkers these were i think these were one pound one pound something one pound five or something one pound fifty um so there's the chocolate chip there's the rose red island indigo elegant eggplant and wild wasabi so that's all of those i mean normally what i paid for the five of those you'd normally pay for one um so that was really great value oh the chocolate chip and um i got a couple of these chocolate chip and tranquil tide markers tranquil tides to the current color and it's always handy to have a brown, especially around this time of year when you're doing tree trunks and stuff. I've got a couple of pads of inks that I've not got. Elegant Eggplant and Wild Wasabi. Um, why not? Um, and then i got the... Sorry, my box is falling down. And I've got the Wild Wasabi cardstock pack as well. Um, which was really... You know, just a, a couple of pounds. I got the always artichoke as well. I got the another wild wasabi. I got a few of these anyway, so I got the soft sky. I love Soska, I use it quite a lot. I got the pink pirouette because even though pink pirouette inks retired, the pink, there's still lots of pinks you can use it with. And I got the elegant eggplant. I got, I doubled up on all of these. Um, so let's just go back through that. The elegant eggplant, the soft sky, the Wild Wasabi, the Always Artichoke, the Wild Wasabi, and the Elegant Eggplant, and the Wild Wasabi again. And then all of these beautiful bits and bobs. Pop them all out of the way because I'm going to show you a DSP stack. That's why I'm moving everything out of the way. Okay. I'm just checking I've got everything on my list. Yeah. And then the designer pack is always eclectic, uh, naturally eclectic, which is a beautiful stack. And this was £4. And this is 12 um, by 12. And you get... 12 sheets I think it's six of two designs okay so that's that so yes that was a nice little haul from um, stamping up um, sale I think for all of this you know it was less than 50 pounds which when you think of all the cardstock and everything um, I mean if you if you're going for just one of them obviously I've doubled up on lots of them um, so yeah excellent value i don't know what's left on the clearance rack i think these i've definitely seen these i <laughs> know this doesn't sound like much but I've definitely seen these i think the ribbons and baker's twines i'm not sure about the doilies i think they're still available 
Um, so do go and check and have a look. But it does update and sometimes, I know in the past it's updated, it's updated once and then it's updated again a couple of weeks later. So um, don't think that just because it's updated um, last weekend it's not going to update for ages because it doesn't, doesn't work like that. I'm not sure what how it does work. I think it's a quite a random process. But um but yeah. So it's always good to replenish the stocks. I mean, even if it's stuff, you know, that has retired, you'll still find you can make your if you've got the ink to go with it, you can make your own papers. If you've got I mean pinks are pink, aren't they? If you oops <laughs> If you're doing a, a pink project, and to be honest, I've just been making a um, my very first album, and it, they use up tons of cardstock and paper. So um, the more you can get your hands on for the less price, the better. So yeah, um, thanks for joining me, and I'm not sure there'll be anything else happening today. Um, I think that's my haul for this week. Um, I don't. Think think I'm going to be doing a how to I will be doing a how to because I promised one last week and I've never got around to it so I will be doing a how to on those edging dies um so that will be up as well at some point on Friday today okay take care and I'll see you again soon bye bye